Hello, and welcome to Test Complete. In this video, we will create a simple functional test for a sample application. In software development, functional testing basically means checking if your software functions as per the specified requirements. Let's create a simple functional test in Test Complete. We have an online store called Smart Store that will serve as our sample application. Let's test the search functionality. Type ball in the search text box and then select the official game ball item from the drop-down list. Next, we'll check that the opened product page is correct. Now, let's open Test Complete and create an automated test that will perform all these actions. In Test Complete, you can create tests manually or record them. Recording is easier and faster, so let's start recording. First, we'll specify the name for the project that will store our test. We'll leave the default project location. You can create a functional test visually in the form of a keyword test or as a script. Keyword tests are easier for novice users, so let's record a keyword test. We specify the URL of our sample online store and select Google Chrome. Now we can start the recording. As you can see, Test Complete launches the browser and opens the web page, types the product name in the search box, and then selects the item. The product page is open. Let's add a validation to our test to verify that the opened page is indeed correct. We'll do it by checking the product title. For this purpose, we'll use a property checkpoint. A property checkpoint in Test Complete essentially validates properties of an object and controls in your application. The easiest way to add this checkpoint is to use quick checkpoints. Move the mouse pointer to this title and then to the plus icon. As you can see, Test Complete suggests verifying the content text property. It contains the web elements text. And this is exactly what we need. Let's select it. Test Complete has appended a checkpoint command to the recorded test. Okay, for the first test, that's enough. Let's close the browser and stop the recording. Test Complete processes the recorded commands. Here's our test. The first operation launches the browser and navigates to the tested web page. This operation clicks the search box and it types the search query. This one is the comparison operation, the property checkpoint. As you can see, for each test command, Test Complete also records an image that illustrates what this command does. You can run the recorded test as is, or you can modify it. For example, add another operation. Let's do that. You can also modify recorded operations. For instance, let's select another browser for the run. Let's now run the test and see how it works. Test Complete will start executing the test commands. As you can see, the test is repeating all of the actions performed during the recording. After the test run is over, Test Complete displays the test results. Our test has passed successfully. The checkpoint succeeded and the test log doesn't contain any errors. Test Complete has captured images for all actions. You can view them and if needed, compare them against images captured during recording. To view a test command that posted this or that message to the log, double click that message. Test Complete will jump to that test command. That's all we wanna share with you today. Now you can try to create functional tests yourself. Thank you for watching.